now that we've got all the good, funny uh, business out of the way, all our hilariousness. Now we're, now we've I know we, we used up all of our goods. That, that's a classic podcasting error I've made. So I'll, usually I'll just hit record no matter what, just in case. <laughs> it, of course, it's always the, the fun stuff's always. And usually if I'm interviewing, interviewing guests at the very end, like, are you done recording? And I'm like, yeah. And they start saying all the good stuff. I'm like, where was this like 20 minutes ago? Mm, <laughs> I don't yeah. want anybody to know. Yeah. Uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, we are here with uh, Chase Ingram and Sean Woodland. We're here to rec- uh, recap week 11. Are we going into week 12? We are, right? Yeah, week 11. Yeah, only week 12 into already. Week 12. Unbelievable. It always feels like that. It's like it takes forever to get here. And then once it starts, it's like uh, half the season's already over. It's like uh, how summer felt when I was in middle school. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Just, mm-hmm. The school year was so long, and then summer is like a yeah. flash. Like the first day uh, of the season is like your last day of school, and that feeling that you get. And then it's yeah. Just like, oh, brutal. so it's great. I is there a, is there a better feeling when you were a kid than the last day of school? No, and the act. Wow. Is there anything no. that compares like as an adult to that feeling? <laughs> as someone who despised school, I don't think so. That was like a. That was that was definitely Christmas came early for me. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I can't think of anything honestly. No, Gosh, no. that was such a great day. Yeah, yes, it was. Well, I mean, on 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 topic here, I mean, Patriots win the Super Bowl. It's a pretty great feeling. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling. How about you? I mean, like That's Sean last one. year. Sean last year, Rams win the Super oh, Bowl. Oh, amazing! I wouldn't trade that for anything. But there was just <laughs> it's not the same feeling. That is pure <laughs> unadulterated elation. Whereas there is a sense of like freedom you know you're getting you know that's you know like you have this so much you know, hope and promise ahead of you with the summer so. mm-hmm. that's true true you got your whole life ahead of you sorry to derail that all right that's okay i love i love i love segues <laughs> because because this show is so yeah. straight laced <laughs> i do not want to veer from my uh, keep, my nice keep it in between the buoys yeah we always exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to start with the uh, opening drive. I just I just made it that up by myself. No one else told me. That was a good one. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's I, a great idea. I, I just thought of it. Um, <laughs> some scores. These are scores that just like, just for the casual listener, casual fans, just good to know. Just if you want to like, you know, talk talk around the water cooler. Do you still do that nowadays? Talk around the water cooler? Is there a virtual version of that? <laughs> water, cool, water cooler talk? I don't know. It's like a Zoom call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's great. like, hey, did you catch the game? This is what this, is what this segment's for. <laughs> Titans, Titans beat the Packers. Uh, Packers are now four and seven. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, stick a fork in those guys. They're done. Yeah, I said that until last week, <laughs> dude. If they didn't pull that miracle off, that'd have been <sighs> that'd have been nine losses in a row, right? Eight, eight of of all, I'm I'm glad we actually didn't do a show last week because of that. Because <laughs> that ranked as one of my all time hated losses for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. That was a tough the, one. The number one is the playoff loss to the Giants in 2009. Okay. Was that the year where they went and beat the Patriots at the Super Bowl? Was it 2009? <laughs> that little miracle run that they went on? Yes, it is. Bastards. Gosh. Yes. that was, And the worst part is I was there at that game. Like My mm-hmm. parents got me playoff tickets to and it was Romo and... Mm-hmm this great season. And then we go and lose to the hopeless nine and seven giants. Yeah. Uh, at, yeah. I know how that feeling. I know how it feels like to lose to the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cocksuckers. I guess at least it wasn't in the super bowl. <laughs> Dude, that one, that one, that one hurt. Cause both losses to the giants were just brutal, brutal losses. Like, just how hard. do you lose to Eli Manning twice? <sighs> Dude, I don't understand. <laughs> Don't get me started. I'll do a whole hour on this. <laughs> I'll do a whole hour on this. It is just, it's unbelievable. Um, Falcons beat the Bears 27 24. Um, Justin Fields is still just a kind of like pulling like a doing his best version of Michael Vick pretty much these days. Justin Fields back fast, but like he's the kind of speed, a lot like Tony Pollard, where it doesn't look like they're running fast. Yet no one can catch them. Mm-hmm. Kind of that- like Derek Derek Henry too, by the way. Dude, that, that guy. No one should be that big and that fast. No, he's he's I think like an old, like a throwback to late eighties, early nineties running backs. God, who are just you don't see that a lot anymore. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, he ran, he ran for 85 and passed for 153. Uh, Patriots over the Jets for the 14th time in a row. I pretty much got Oh, gosh. Points I got the ball out of bounds. Dude, dude, that line drive punt. Punt it out of bounds. Like, punt is one thing, but a line drive punt where he had 15 yards of open space to start. Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as he caught that, I was like, uh-oh. Literally, yeah, it's exactly what I said. I was like, Oh, we got a little bit of a chance here. I was like, We got a little bit because I was thinking, like, maybe fair catch, though, like a Hail Mary or something. But I was like, Oh, and then, like, I just kicked the damn started, out of bounds, slowly I started standing up, and then, yeah, screamed like a screamed like a weirdo. Uh, yeah, what, a, what an amazing win, by the way. That's a rookie, too. That dude's a rookie, he's just a little stud muffin. Uh, commanders over the Texans. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say this is. Uh, Taylor Heineke's team. Screw no, he's going to start. He's the starter now. And then I, when he we was asked, Ron, some about the one of the reporters of the, in the press conference asked him, "Why are you? What did you see from Heineke that made you want to now start him over Carson Wentz?" And his all he answered was winning. <laughs> dude, <laughs> fair enough. Fair I mean, enough. Carson, Carson Wentz is cursed, dude. Is he gone? Is he gone after this? Is he going to go to another I don't know team? what his – did they sign him to one-year deal? I don't know what his contract is. Uh, I think he's I a free know, agent. Actually. I'm pretty sure he's a free I agent. I think he is. I think he, and this will be his fourth team in four years. I always wonder, had he not gotten hurt that one year where they won the Super Bowl? Dude, dude yeah. he was so, so like, that good. That may have changed his trajectory. Oh, I mean, it, it, it had to have, right? He was like on MVP. He was an MVP candidate that year. He still almost yeah. won it. And he yeah. missed like the last five or six games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, like completely two different people. From that from that season to to where they're at right now, it's kind of weird. Um, Saints over the Rams. Uh, the reigning <laughs> the reigning Super Bowl champs are now three and seven. By the way, did Stafford get another concussion? I, he, well, they don't know. Okay, and it's still huh. the and I, I don't. He I don't was wanna, slinging it like what the first half of the they game. Good. Like they, well, I mean, they they look better than they had. You know, and again, it, their offensive line. And I was, you know, I'll just read this. This was going into going into last week um this is what this was going into the game which has now gotten worse they going into the saints game they had six offensive linemen on their roster who could play six three of those six weren't on the team week one and they had they coming into the saints game seven offensive linemen who are on injured reserve or too injured to play on sunday like you Weird. cannot win like that. You just can't. No. And it's, you know, it's affected the entire team. And uh, I didn't hear anything today as to whether or not Stafford's going to uh, enter the protocol. But I guess the issue is, is that if you get pulled out of a game and get evaluated for a concussion, mm-hmm. and then you, if you miss a series and then you come back in, mm-hmm. you had to have cleared protocol. Okay. And then, and the, they had to have announced that. But since he did not come back into the game, there was no official announcement way to, made as to whether or not he even cleared protocol or if he was even in the protocol. Mm-hmm. So that's sort of the semantical thing. And now they're trying to run Dave. I guess they ran more tests. I don't think it matters. Honestly, I wouldn't put that guy back in period. I would treat the rest of the season like the preseason and figure out what you have. Yeah. Going into next mm-hmm. year. Um, uh, they cut uh, Henderson today. Oh, Tom really? Did. Yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Um, is it I just Akers now? Who's the who's the it's other? Akers one? and Kyron Williams, and I think Kyron Williams is probably going to be the guy moving forward. He okay. looked really. He was the one bright spot hmm. last week. He was he was a kid they drafted out of Notre Dame, and he got hurt in training camp, missed most oh. of the season. And then last week, last week was the first time he saw any action, and then he actually saw significant action this past week. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Not to pour salt in the wound, but I think this is the worst start ever for a defending Super Bowl champion. Yes, it is. But you know what you said? The <laughs> words that you said there that make that that lighten that blow is defending Super Bowl champions. <laughs> it's true. Touche, sir. Mm-hmm. Touche, sir. Uh, Bills bounce back over the Browns, which was kind of a close game in the first yeah. quarter and a half, maybe. Uh, I was like, a little oh, banged up, home. too. Yeah. Yep. They Bills? need a running back. Who does? The Bills. Oh, Bills, yeah. You don't like know. Singletary? He's all, he's all right. They need yeah. a, all you all you need today in the NFL is just a serviceable running back. You don't need Travis Henry now. If you have uh, Travis Henry, you're yeah. safe on Barkley, you're good. But mm-hmm. the past couple, let's see, the Rams did it by committee. Who did, who mm-hmm. won the Super Bowl before the the prior year? The uh, Bucks. Buccaneers, Bucks. Yeah, they had Fournette and um, 
uh, bar yeah, yeah ronald ronald barber ronald? yeah which is weird because uh, yeah. they had a yeah. ronde barber but you know, that was give me game one patriots running back when they went on their run i mean i mean i can yeah, name uh, a couple it's not as important a position as it's yeah, nice to have it's just not as important as it was but yeah, yeah that that's was true Scotland. yeah no i no, it's true uh, yeah i think uh so yeah, especially today's age as long as you just have two serviceable guys and it's all about passing i feel like anyways it's like yeah hmm. I guess yeah, you'd probably and they'd be better off with a what would they be better off with another wide out or a lineman or maybe a tight end because Knox is okay. Yeah, I mean, I, look if, if they got you know, I think it's between probably them, the Chiefs, and the Cowboys for Beckham. Wait, oh, wait, I was actually going to ask you where you thought he'd go. I think he's going to go to Dallas. <sighs> I think so too. I think, I think that's so a great, too. and I think it's a great move for the Cowboys too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, this is this guy's guy. second ACL injury, so it's not like I mean he's Moving still going right. to be good. Still going to be good, but who knows? And yeah, trot out two dudes with like half a leg. <laughs> Seen him and Gallup, uh, although they might be two of the best pass catchers in the league, aside so, for Jeffries. I think the uh, fan favorite uh, Deshaun Watson's coming back this week too. All right. Oh, is he going to play? I believe so. I I don't know. <laughs> I think he's available though. I think he can. It's either this week or next. I think it's this week, though, because I think they play ironically like the Texans. Like on the roster. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which would be just great television. Uh, which I feel like they kind of like, huh, when do they, when do the Browns play the Texans? Let's I feel like they, this season, moments. yeah, I feel like this season more than ever, they have really looked at all the drama and have lined up the schedule mm-hmm. beautifully. Yeah course with all these little things back and forth yeah. which i've i have thoroughly enjoyed oh it's amazing it's it's amazing uh ravens over the panthers which is kind of just a snooze fest of a game and i think sam mm. darnold is now named the starter which like who gives in carolina right? yeah, yeah there's, there's a rat's ass about that. what happened to the other guy walker baker no i know baker oh oh, oh. he came uh, in uh well i think did he, he got hurt or two did he get tur- EJ, hurt ej williams or something yeah uh, i know i just think he's also, kind of sucks. I just, huh. just have three quarterbacks that are just not good. I say he sucks, and they they he beat the he quarterback beat the Tom, by Tom, committee. Tom, Tom Brady. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, Lions with their third straight win over the Dude, Giants. I didn't I think like I was ever going to say that. Lions, man. They're real. figuring it out. They're going to be good, and very likely they have a top five pick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do they need? Defense. <laughs> defense. Yeah, they got to figure that defense out. <laughs> What and and I think they're going to probably draft the quarterback because I think Goff is a free agent after this year. Because hmm. there was talk about, I mean, you know, like I was saying before he came on, you go to Twitter not for mm-hmm. reasonable takes, but you know, Rams Twitter is in a panic right now about well, if Stafford retires, who do you get? It's like, oh, bring Goff back. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have said to it. Yeah, I feel like this options. isn't this draft class supposed to have decent quarterbacks. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Raiders over the Broncos, man. I was a surprise. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I wonder how long it's like if Nathaniel Hackett's going to last after this, if this season in Denver, I think this is, I mean, there was like, wasn't there? There's some pretty high expectations going into this. Yeah. Well, they, you know, they went and got the guy that they thought that they were missing with, uh, Russell Wilson. You know, they thought that, Oh yeah, that was kind of an ingredient, but I remember, um, Aaron Rodgers is even like flirting with the idea of like leaving the Packers, going to the Broncos. At least, at least there was a uh, media For speculation what? of that. Yeah, exactly. What? Are, what is? I don't know. That don't that know. relationship should have broken up a little while ago. Yeah. By the way, I'm glad they talked about this because I was literally going to bring this up too. Have you guys seen this guy's Twitter? This TikTok no. of the. <laughs> so this guy just does like a weekly update, right? Where he's just tracking Russell Wilson's touchdowns passes to <laughs> have <Wilson> has <laughs> oh, in his house. He does. They, oh, moved to, wow. they moved to their new house in Denver. He has twelve. And he, like he, the, this last week, he's all he threw no touchdowns, so he's still at seven. And they did not add or subtract any bathrooms, so they're still at twelve bathrooms. Twelve bathrooms. Yeah. Well, you never know oh, when you got the poops. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it's pretty funny. Yeah, but yeah, colossal failure in, in Denver this season. I mean, they 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 look like they look. Like well, I couldn't crap. tell. I couldn't in the beginning of the year. I was like, I don't know who won this. Seattle trade, the Seahawks, and clearly. now clearly the Seahawks. They could win the division. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. 
there was no way I thought that was possible. No. Well, there was yeah. supposed to be the Rams are right now. Uh, Bengals quietly had another win, by the way, over the Steelers. Four, six man. Four. Six there, four. Four. Yep. This is about mm-hmm. the time last year where they started to figure yep. out as well. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Never know. I Don't know, count them out. I would not. I think would, would they be would they be in if the season ended today? Ooh, six and four. I don't, yeah, but they're not uh, leading. They're, they're not leading the uh, the North, right? Let me. You know, uh, well, are the Ravens I, in that division. By the way, I'm not even kidding yeah. you. I think I think all four teams from the AFC East would make it right now. So they're currently yeah six and four. So they would be. Yes, they would be a wild card team. Oh really? Yeah, they'd get in. Because the, the South is awful. Hmm. I always say they would. They'd give, they'd be a wild card. Yeah. I don't. I don't give a f what our record is. I just want to get in. I mean. I, I mean. Obviously, get I just want to get That's it. first round bye. Yeah. It's glorious, but just get in, dude. Because man, does it bother you when people say the tournament? Yes. <laughs> Who the it's fuck not a tournament? It's playoffs. I, I feel like I hear coaches <laughs> say that. Just got to get in the tournament. I know Mike McCarthy yeah. says that shit. It's not. The, it's not a oh. tournament, Mike. It's, it's the a, playoffs. It's the playoffs. Okay, yeah. yeah. Tournament yeah. is no. Yeah, no point on I there. Mean, I guess in a technical sense it is because it's elimination and you, whatever, but it's not – the NCAA tournament right. is yeah. a tournament. Right. Yeah. These are the playoffs. These are the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate uh, I hate when I hear I that. Too. I, I don't like that term. Well, now I hate it because I <clears throat> wasn't under my radar, but now I'm going to be like – <laughs> How dare you? Uh, and we're going to finish off the opening drive with the 49ers over the Cardinals last night in Mexico City. Mm. That, was, that was a beatdown. That was a beat down. Dude. Getting, this is this time of year where, where my McCaffrey really tight about the San Francisco 49ers. They are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when we started doing this podcast, I was kind of like, I was kind of iffy on Kyler Murray, but I know, I know how Chase feels about him. But man, I really dislike that little shithead right now. Dude, that guy <laughs> super annoying. Is just, that kid's so annoying. Yeah. Unbelievable. It looks like a pouty little five year old with this like yeah, fat, does, flat face. He does. Mm-hmm. And, just uh, like. Just mm. the worst. Just a little I can't punk, stand him. Man. Yeah. I want to like, I want to give him like a wedgie or some shit. The uh, only thing that makes me feel better about San Francisco is that when they played one of the AFC's best team, arguably the best team in the AFC, they got trounced. What was that? Before they, the Chiefs beat them, like just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. What That's was right. the score? The Chiefs, I mean, the Chiefs almost hung 50 no, on Chiefs. them. Yeah, no, Chiefs, Chiefs smacked them down. Uh, Wex appeal. I did not see this. Did you guys know he's talking about 44 to 23. Yeah. No. Cameraman got a ball, ball to the nuts. I did not see that. That'll well, happen. But I'm not surprised. That, that McCaffrey trade is so good for Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh. Yeah, but so here's the pro the move. Like, this is the thing with the San Francisco 49ers. They obviously went all in this year as they should. Right. So what do they do next year? Like, because you cannot, you're not going to, st- I think Jimmy's on what, a one year contract? Yeah, He's a free like agent. Yeah. Yeah. He's and probably they are gone to Trey Lance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't like, I, if Trey Lance would have been healthy at this point in the season, that McCaffrey trade does not happen. I think they're better with Garoppolo. Oh, oh they yeah. are. I, uh, without a doubt, better with Garoppolo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which was always a weird. I don't really know why they pulled the trigger on Trey Lance. I think it was more like, you know, like one of those things where it's just like the stigma of something. And therefore, yeah. we just like say mm-hmm. that it is. And I think everyone gave Garoppolo so much shit about just him being Jimmy yeah. Garoppolo. Well, he missed that one throw. You know, he missed that one throw in the Super Bowl. So everybody like just totally focuses on. And I I get it. I think there's, I think there's, I don't have a ton of faith in that guy. Like if like Niners are down 14, I kind of think they're screwed. Like I don't really think they're going to come back. Yeah, no, they can't. Yeah, no, they're not built. They're not built for that. And I think Mm -hmm. that, you know, as evidenced by what the Chiefs did to them. Right. You know, they, they got out to a lead and they're not the, the Niners by virtue of how their offense is designed and the way they like to move the football. They're not a team that's going to come back from two scores mm-hmm. down. They're just no. not do it. And I saw they get leads too. and they hold on to them. Yeah, because they can just lean on people. Um, right. But I saw a stat a couple of weeks ago that I think it was on ESPN that Jimmy Garoppolo's quarterback rating is among the worst in the league when you ask him to throw the football beyond 15 yards. Interesting. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, that's why I say McCaffrey. And the fact that Greg Kittle is turning into Greg Kittle again. Yeah. George Kittle? Or sorry, yeah, George Kittle. Sorry. Yeah, I know what you meant. 
I do love that guy. I do love me some Kittle. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that's why they try to go to Trey Lance just to think, just to see if they have. He's got that magic where you know they're down two scores. Where well, and I also think everyone got enamored with what Patrick Mahomes is doing. Mm. Of course, you know, but Mahomes has the ability. It's his arm, to, though. That's the thing. That's exactly right. He doesn't. He relies on his legs to buy time so he right. can use his arms. Use his arm, not he. You know, run that like he's primarily a primarily a run first quarterback. Mm-hmm. And Trey Lance has, I think, the physical attributes that might suggest that he could be that type of player, but so far hasn't shown it. Right. Like, what's the arm? It's like Justin Fields. Like, yes, this dude has elite legs, but like, doesn't matter. That ain't going to cut it in the NFL. You got to be able to read a defense, throw, you know, it's one you know, extending plays where that comes in handy. Mm hmm. Uh, which picks us into our big three, our big three mm. games we're going to cover right here. Uh, Let's do it. Eagles 17, Colts 16. Is Jeff Saturday shocking the world? I kind of feel like he's shocking the world right now because they they really should have won that game, I feel like. Oh, they, yeah. I, I think that there's a lot of people that are surprised about how well he's doing. Now, you know, a lot of it could be, you know, did Frank Reich really leave the coverage that bare? Was that just not a good – Had he kind of just outworn, outworn his welcome? Mm-hmm. Uh if our players responding to Jeff Saturday, I don't know, but you definitely got to give him credit for first winning that game last week, and nearly pulling off the upset this week. They should. I was so upset. But they should have won that damn game. <laughs> I think the shine, a little bit of the shine's coming off the Eagles a little bit. Oh, for sure, a yeah, little. Sure. Every team's going to have these moments in the season, but yeah, they mm-hmm. don't look like the juggernauts that they did three weeks ago. Well, rumor has it like Ursay kind of had it out for. Uh, Frank Wright a little bit like he was kind of handcuffing him I know he said hey I don't want something along the lines of hey I don't want Matt Ryan playing anymore the rest mm-hmm. of the season and then all of a sudden Saturday comes in they're like uh hey go ahead go ahead and give Matt Ryan the green light to go ahead and play and it's like yeah of course he's the better Very option funny. he like comes in it's like so what's wrong with Matt like nothing then like well, okay well then he's playing <laughs> and uh the Eagles coach Nick uh Sirianni, Sirianni. Dude, yeah. is there anyone yeah. That is more Philly. I was I, when I saw him that going to the coach, standings, I'm like, oh yeah. And I already hate the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles and all things Philly because of the Philadelphia Eagles. And that dude is playing the part. Like he, I can, I can see just the, the greasiness on this guy of just being a total dirtbag. Philadelphia Eagle. You can see him booing Santa Claus. <laughs> right? I can see him throwing batteries yeah. from the sideline. <laughs> yes. He's very playing true. the part very well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He knows his he knows his uh his demographic. Yeah, yeah, when he was like going up into the stands, I was like, What dude, what are you mad about? You had like a you're like a 10 point favorite, dude. Well, his, he was upset about the whole I don't know if you saw the, the post game yeah, press conference yeah. about Frank Reich being fired and how he's one of his mentors and he doesn't think that was whatever. Right, mm. right. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know he's all ticked off about it, but I was like, dude, ch- chillax, my man. Uh, I, by the way, are you guys bothered by Jeff Saturday cutting the line? Mm. What do you mean cutting, cutting the line? Oh, like just getting like, a job? Uh, yeah, like he didn't really pay his dues for the most part. Um, got, got no, weird. It, special treatment. it is strange, but I think that, again, you if you look at – there, it's, it's really like a – it's a no it, – it's a very low-risk, high-reward move by the Colts because – if they bring him in and he does poorly, well, what did you expect? You know, and then they can go through the full search in the off season. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he does well, well, great. You know, now we've, we found our guy, but I don't know if they can, I don't know where the Rooney rule will come into that. Mm-hmm, you know, if they, mm-hmm. if they, if, cause I don't think it applies to mid season. It obviously doesn't apply to mid season hires. Cause a lot of right. times when people get fired, you got to right away. Right. But I don't know if they would retroactively, I don't know how that would work, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it was, it's, it's just fine. one of those things where, it is. It's certainly strange. Um, I don't know if he just had a good rapport with the owner, um, whatever it was. But if he fails, whatever you expected him to fail, now you can go find the guy. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, it's just it's sort of like a low pressure environment for him to show what he has. But it is, you know, I think it is weird that he did cut the line. But I think a lot of times, you know, so so many, like you just look at the coaches around the NFL. A lot of them are just retreads. You know, there's like a there, yeah. there's a brotherhood that just kind of gets shuffled in and out. Of I think if I was a coach of any degree, I'd be pissed off. I would too. Yeah. Especially on like Eric Bianami or one of those coaches who, and I don't know if I, I, that's the one guy I can't understand how he's not a head coach. It's so weird. It's so weird. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know. Yeah, I get that. And some of it though, I mean, we had this conversation about um, Dan Quinn or um, mm -hmm. gosh, who else were we talking? Wade Phillips. Yeah. Mike Martz. Mike Martz. Yeah. It's like, right. don't ever be a head coach. <laughs> like you just, yeah. you can't do it. You are elite where you're at. I get mm. that the mystique and the draw, maybe even the paycheck to a certain extent, but there are just some people who should be coordinators because there is nothing that they can do better than that job. Yeah. And what situation is the enemy going to walk into where you got Mahomes, Kelsey, you know, that offense. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like, that, yeah, you look really good. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, um, McDaniels. Oh yeah. You got a lot of head coaching jobs because of Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Of course. That's it. Of course. Yeah. I mean, he's like, he's, I've heard Dan Patrick talk about this too. It's different when like, almost to exactly what you guys are saying. It's different when you need to, step to, you know, you're focusing just on one aspect of the game, one part of the team, like the, the offense, right? Mm -hmm. Now as a head coach, you got to, you got, you got everybody going to you. You're like the babysitter. Now you got to go in front of the media and like so on and so forth and so on. It's like, it is, it's a wholly different, totally different position. Some people are just aren't, it's more if like you, a, you remove your skill set completely. I think so. Maybe it's not completely, like but like, but it's like a manager managerial yeah. type role where you're just like trying to make everyone trying to put out fires over and over again. Yeah. Like you're not really using your, what you're, what you're best at, at you're mm -hmm. not, you know, exercising your strengths. Do you guys think uh, Jeff Saturday will, will be the coach next year? Any chance? What are the chances? 50, 50. Damn. That's pretty good. I say no shot. You don't think so? <laughs> no. You don't think if he if he turns his team around and they end the season with a winning record, they at least have to take a serious look at him? And if the players respond to him? Yeah. I, I Well, I only say it because of politics. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like if Jeff yeah. Saturday is the head coach of the Colts next year, they are going to face so much shit. Yeah, but it, I mean, so what? Mm. They're winning. Mm. Like they're a better, if they're a better team, it doesn't matter. Like, Yeah. Yeah, no, I I'm get just, it. I get I'm it. Yeah, but I think I mean if if the current trend continues, you probably give that guy a serious right. Look. It, now it, I'm it, guessing they're going to have to interview other candidates. And that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm not saying it's a qualification thing, and maybe he is. I could totally see them like not even letting it happen for pure image of the process of which they had him the head coach. Sorry, I got the just because that's the sports. world we lo live in. <laughs> What are you what are you watching, Shooter Gafford? Watching the LA Kings beat the New York oh, okay. Rangers right now. Kevin Fiala with a goal early in the first one nothing. <laughs> sick, sick. Um, after this game, are we like, where do we got the Eagles ranked? Where do we get the Eagle? Where do we have the Eagles ranked on the NFC side? They're one like, of the best teams. Are they better than the, the best? But they're one of the best. Vikings? Are they better than the Vikings? Well, I mean, if your most recent performance is any indication, no, but. <laughs> I think you throw that. Like I think that that was a confluence of perfect events for the Cowboys. They were was coming off a really disappointing performance. They mopped the floor with, and mm -hmm. Minnesota was coming off an emotional road win against another one of the best teams in the NFL. They were ripe for a letdown. I give full credit to Dallas. I think they. Are, I think the Cowboys are one of the best teams in the NFC as well. They can mm -hmm. be scary when they want to be. You know, they. Mm -hmm. I think they have the best one-two combination in, in the in the league at running back. Mm -hmm. um, good quarterback, good receiving core, great defense. Like they have all the tools there. Um, but I think, you know, Philadelphia did beat them. They're mm -hmm. going to play yeah. again. But mm -hmm. I don't think there's a clear number one in the NFC. I think there's like four teams that are up there. I'd probably mm -hmm. put the Vikings, the Eagles, uh, the Cowboys, and I think the San Francisco 49ers definitely deserve yeah, to be in exactly that conversation. Yep. Those are the four. I had actually put, in, not to like piss off Sean on purpose, but I, I would put Niners – probably at the top of the list as the yeah. more complete of those four. Mm -hmm. Really? I just like, I don't see, like, I know what the 49ers are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of those other three teams, you have seen exactly who they are on a week to week basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But San, San Francisco has lost some games to bad teams. Now, granted, like yeah. that was one where Trey Lance was playing and that was in Chicago. And again, Kansas city came into their building and that, you know, 44 to 23. Yeah, they rolled them. Not as close as that score. Right. Yeah. They, they rolled them. And Kansas City does that to most people. Yes. Um, I like the Niners more than those because all those Vikings, I think, are a fake, tough team. Eagles are just, 
getting overinflated with their own confidence over the years. So I think there's going to be a <clears throat> like a big fall for them. And then the Cowboys are the traditionals. Like we play really well, but we're soft as baby shit when it comes <laughs> to really like when it comes to getting dirty um, and the Niners are just a dirty it's a bad matchup for them. It is. And I think the Niners are a bad matchup for a lot of teams that are like the Vikings and that yep. are like the Eagles, not like the uh, chiefs, like the chiefs are hardened, like veteran players, even though they're, they're still fairly young, but I like the 49ers in a grudge match battle of any of those four that we put up there. Uh, I think Dallas matches up pretty well with them. If if Dallas wants to commit to playing an ugly game, if they want to rely on their backs, if they want to, we play just ball don't ball. have ugly players. Though we have, there's no one on well, that team. Well, the flip side of that is Micah like, Parsons. Well, and your defensive, you got a good. Yeah, we got a decent defensive line. That's a good defense, man. Like I was actually looking at their ranks. I think they have the number one defense in the league right now. I'm looking at the site lineups.com. The problem is their Achilles heel seems to be the rushing defense that they have mm -hmm. is, is yeah. towards the bottom of the league, and that's a problem with San Francisco. But if you can get Odell Beckham Jr., if you can have an offense that can light things up and you can get a lead on them yeah. and get them out of that you know, ground-and-pound ball control game, I think you got a shot. Well, I used to say with the Cowboys, if we can get a lead, then that's when we are elite. Yes. And then the Packers game happened, and I was like, what – well, every on. and again, every team is going to have one of those. Every you're going to have a couple. Yeah. Of those. You're no, you're right. That. And I was thinking about the Cowboys. It's like the Cowboys every year has a game they should absolutely yeah, have never lost, does. and a game they should have absolutely have never won. Mm -hmm. yep. And we've had those back to back weeks. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, there's. I I would say there's four really good teams in the NFC. Now mm -hmm. I don't know if any of them are as good as the good, like the best teams in the AFC. Seems like no. AFC is the yeah. It seems like AFC is pretty pretty low. Well, as an ask is where do you guys have uh, my beloved Tommy Tom and his Buccaneers? Mm, I don't know what, what's their record right now. They're, like they're okay. Six and I mean, four, they're five play, and they're four. Six, four. They, they play San Francisco in a couple weeks, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, December eleventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just got to get to the playoffs healthy. That's no one thing. is healthy on that team. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing too is they're probably going to win their division, so they'll have a home game. Mm. There you go. And then that's all it takes, man. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes, like we've been talking about. Uh, I appreciate you guys talking about the. They uh, could the be a factor. They could be a factor. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. I mean, don't get don't get Tommy in the playoffs. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants you to play Tommy in the playoffs. Um. Second game, Cowboys forty, Vikings three. Largest road win in franchise history for the old Dallas Cowgirls. It's really? Yeah. Yep. Two wow. two weird records back to back. Like I said, the yin and the yang. Last week uh -huh. was the first time we had ever given up. We've never lost a game with a two touchdown lead going into the fourth quarter ever in the history wow. of the Cowboys. And then wow. we had the largest road victory ever <laughs> against. I was like, that doesn't seem team. right. Like I think Minnesota's we a good team too. Yeah, that's what I'm they saying. are a good team. I, I I totally agree. I was you know, and and again, they had a bad day, but a lot of that had to do. With the, like Dallas had a really good day, and I, Dude, I, their offensive line couldn't block anyone. No, Micah Parsons is scary good. <sighs> yeah, scary good. I saw a cool video too about how Dan Quinn schemed up a four man rush to get one to get a one on one matchup with Parsons. It was awesome. The way he, the way he aligned his defensive tackles yeah. to make sure the guard couldn't come over to help was like a little a small cool. thing, but it's something you don't you know think of when the game's going on. But just to you want to get the guy one on one as much as you can. What a mm. God, what a good player he is. Yeah, he's a freak of nature. I think he's like on pace right now to break uh, Reggie White's single season record or sacks, isn't he? Something like that. He's got something like the all time or just Reggie? Because I think Reggie uh, was second uh, or Strahan. Uh, Strahan was first because Strahan had uh, that one oh, where he got the layup right from Favre. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot about that little dipshit. How many? Like, was how that? dare how you do that? that? Twenty two and a half. Or something half like yeah. that? God, how many? Do you know how many Michael Parsons has right now? Uh, that's a good question. That is a good question. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to ask good questions and not have the stats available. <laughs> Am I ready? Um, also, yeah, it was 23 to three at half. Fox switched that game, I think, like middle third quarter. How's their shellacking? Oh, they did. 
Yeah, they switched it. <laughs> well, so we we got it because you know we're I'm oh, yeah, Dallas, so right, they right, didn't right. switch anything. Oh like, no, yes, yeah. like, middle third quarter, out. like uh, they're gonna go ahead and put on. I think they switch it to like the freaking Bears game too. <laughs> <laughs> Micah Parsons has ten sacks. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's gonna have to go on an absolute tear. Matt Judon is your current leader with thirteen. Really? That's oh wow. That's right. I love that dude. Hmm. But you do have that extra extra um game. You know, the extra game could uh, change you know, the record books. I, fucking, you got to, I right? can't stand all yeah, last year, to, all the stupid you know. stats that the announcers were putting out there and like, oh, all time. It's like, stop. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole, yeah. it's a whole other game. Yeah. It's, yeah. Whole it's game. Like, like so much going to happen. Have, like, the 16 game era, the, didn't they have like a 14 game? 14. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. what Jerry those... Rice, what Jerry Rice did. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Well, oh. like, like per game, what, however you want to like and break it down. Under different rules, yeah. right? You know, and a was... different style of play. Yes. You mm-hmm. were in a running league where there was no mm-hmm. such thing as holding. And you could get, people could tee off on you coming over the middle. Like, there, yes. yeah, it was much. To, it definitely puts that in, in perspective. That's like the uh, who's the who's the old school defensive lineman for the Cowboys? Randy Freaking White, no. Ed Tuchel Jones. Yeah. Too tall, Jones. There you go. That guy, he was a free. And they're like, they talk about his how many sacks he has, and it's like, yeah, the, the quarterback dropped back like twelve times a game, for a, <laughs> and he still, yeah. and he still had like twenty sacks. Of right. Yeah. Is that two zero? Yeah. Two-o, power play goal. You got to fight for your right, Velarde. <laughs> uh, Chase is Zeke a Cowboy next year? By the way, no. Is he a free agent? I don't know. Uh, no, I have, I have no idea. I'm just I'm I'm over. No, over. but uh, 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 the other guy is uh, Pollard. I know he's Pollard free, is. He's a free agent. Okay, I think there is more of a chance that it's Zeke without Pollard than it is with both being there. But I think none being there is a better chance than both being there. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like there's no way both could be there because if they sign it, because Pollard's going to want a lot of money, and you can't. But like, don't sign him. Don't you don't even sign Pollard. I don't think you can stop how much signing you, running backs. <laughs> you'd have so much money tied up in your running backs if you did that. That's why I'm like, you gotta. It's probably Pollard's probably gone. No. Dude. Zeke's not crazy. worth it. No, not for that. Not for that money. I'm not saying Zeke is a bad running back, but that dude once like he's hurt every year, mm-hmm. and to, it's not this. worth paying a short yardage running back. Twenty-five million dollars a year, or however much he gets now. I feel like Pollard's been the best running back on that team for like two or three years. <laughs> yeah, he has been. Mm-hmm. Now he has been because of you know load management as far mm-hmm. as you know where they play him, but they use him beautifully. Oh yeah, I love but him. I wouldn't want Pollard there for a long-term deal, anyways. Well, Ezekiel Elliott isn't an unrestricted free agent until twenty twenty-seven. Oh fuck! Yeah, it, it's Pollard's gone, dude. Because I think Zeke's making like fifteen million a year, isn't he? Something. Uh, he is. Yeah. His current base salary is twelve point four. Okay. okay, that's a his lot. His cap number is eighteen point two. Wow, yeah, there it that's is. A lot. That's a lot. You can't. And Pollard's going to want to get paid. He's he like, should get paid. Yeah, he, he will. Yeah. Someone will overpay for him. Mm-hmm. So he I'll should absolutely. Test. And that's the thing. It's like that's a problem with running backs. Is like they do. You know, you just. And free agency in general, you will overpay to get what you need. But especially with running backs, if you're what's how many years in the league is Pollard? Like he's beyond five, right? Five or six. That's yeah. pretty much your shelf life, right there. So whatever you're getting, mm-hmm. which you're going to pay for, if you think you're going to get the same Pollard you're getting now, odds are you're not. I think but he'll be top tier for another three years after this, just because he Probably. he hasn't been used mm-hmm. to True. the extent of the wear and tear that a lot of these starting backs have so i would say pollard has a good three elite years left in him if he does That's- go to a new team so he'll he'll get a five-year deal and his mm-hmm. next two years after that will probably be marred with some injuries and ailments he'll be good where he is and on the sideline when he's not yeah <laughs> uh and final thought on this game we'll put a bow on it but uh why why can't kirk cousins play when the lights are shining the brightest. You know what's funny? It's like Maurice Jones-Drew on uh, NFL uh, Game Day Recap, who I think is fantastic, by the way. Uh, really, he's super entertaining. 
was like, hey, man, was this game played at one? And the, <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, exactly. And he even said, he goes, I don't, he goes, I don't know why this is a thing, but he cannot play at games you know, at 1 p.m. Well, it's Pacific. So like 4, mm-hmm. well, no, it was, it was 1 p.m. local. Like 1 p.m. local, whatever it is. He just can't, I don't mm-hmm. know what. So, yeah, man, I don't know. I But I, I think that was more of, it was, like, it was a letdown game for them because of what mm-hmm. happened the prior week in Buffalo. I still think Minnesota's a really good team. They just forgot mm-hmm. to show. I think I'm talking out of my butt here, but I believe Kirk Cousins only has like two Sunday or Monday night wins out of like it's not like, many. It's like I think he's like two and twelve or two and thirteen or something. I like feel that. like one of them was against the Cowboys too. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably was. Yeah, probably, probably was. Uh, and third and final game, the Dirty Bastards of Kansas City, 30, <laughs> 30 to twenty-seven over the Chargers. God, I really thought they had them, dude. <laughs> I thought the Chargers had their ass, man. I was like, I did well, too. The and you looked up yeah. and you saw how much time was left. You're like, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, was there anybody on earth that's all over a minute and Patty Mahomes getting the ball back that you didn't think was gonna happen? I was like, God dang it. I'm like, can't yeah, <laughs> you score with like 10 seconds left? Um yeah, I think I was texting you guys. Yeah, I bitching them out about the refs. I, I hate them. I do think they were helping them out. Uh but, the thing too is like if it's so easy for these damn Patty Mahomes Chiefs to go down the field the way they did, why doesn't he just do it earlier in the game? Why does he always do it with like a minute left all the time? Oh, shoot, is they did that when they with their Apple. Super Bowl run against the Niners that year, is they would get down like three or four touchdowns in the first five minutes of the game. <laughs> yeah, who was yeah, they made like some hellacious comeback against somebody that year, didn't they? Yeah, I think uh, it was Houston. The Texans, yep. It was but they That's did right. the same thing in like the second or third round. And they did the same thing in the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, it just it warms the cockles of my heart to say that the last two teams <laughs> to blow 10-point leads in the playoffs are, uh, are the uh, – or, yeah, the San Francisco 49ers. They blew one in the Super Bowl, and they blew one in the NFC Championship game. Oh, that's uh, right. They did. Mm-hmm. Um, am, I just, am I just full of S, though? Are the, are the refs not helping these guys out in the last like, – No, I, I think that's – you know. and look, if you're someone who's going to blame the officials, blame your team for being in that position. Okay. Mm. You know, and like, and <laughs> honestly, I, also man, I think that was a legit hold. Like the guy, the, the was it, um, what's his name? He's a really on oh, Kittle, yeah, yeah, yeah no, uh, Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey, like, uh, yeah, on yeah, Kelsey, uh, Dexter, Dexter. I can't remember. He's he's, uh, he's, no, he's awesome. Though. I know he's awesome. Though. I had he had him like he did, and they're going to show that Woodland. I know, but it was kind of ticky tack. It was kind of ticky tack, though. I feel like you can almost call that all the time, though. That particular, it wasn't egregious. I don't think it was egregious. I get it, but even then, even if they missed that play, it's fourth and four. Mm-hmm. There's no way. They're, there's no way they're getting that. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> and I think too, teams have a tendency in that situation if you're playing the Kansas City Chiefs and you're calling defense mm-hmm. you're, we're going to let you we'll give you the little yeah. stuff we're going to run out of time we're going we're to they have a tendency to not play as aggressive this is true yeah it's just so and every team does it and it's infuriating when it works it's great but when it doesn't everyone's yeah. like ah, it's a prevent defense it's just preventing us from you know so fresh it is so frustrating to watch them it's like how oh like it was, it was like a perfect drive. It was like set hike. Here's 20 yards. Set hike. I'm going to run for 20 yards. Set and hike. Look, because the defense doesn't have time to make, you know, calls and proper alignment. Like they're kind of scrambling too. That's why you go, you know, tempo in a lot of those. Yeah. 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 Teams. But uh that shit was way too easy. Unbelievably too easy. I was like, that was like Travis I mean, Kelsey is good. Oh, dude. God, he's so yeah, good. He, yeah, he is. Yes, he is. Uh, by the way, who's who's more of an MVP candidate, Mahomes or Kelsey? Mahomes. Yeah. That's always going to be a quarterback award. I know. I know. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to take shots at Mahomes. <laughs> he is not. Oh. He is my homie, not your homie. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, yeah, he's got um, he's got 11 touchdowns though. Uh, what do you think Kelsey would have Kelsey? to do? Like 20 touchdowns? Still, it's. Just, I don't think they're ever going to do a tight end. I say it's not going to matter because Mahomes is throwing the torn. Exactly. Games. Yeah. He did just break uh, Rob Gronkowski's record of most hundred yards receiving for a tight end. Bastard. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he got his thirty thirty third. He was tied with a uh, Gronk. Hmm. And I don't think people realize like how fast that guy is too. 
Yes. And one of the high, maybe it was the last touchdown he scored. He put his foot in the ground and then five steps later, he was in the end zone. I think it was on like the 10 yard line. Yep. Yep. He was bam, bam, again. He just he finds his way in the end zone. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, what, uh, beyond over, that, it was crazy to watch that. Did you also notice how many Chiefs fans were at the game? It was like a Chiefs home game. Well, yeah, but that's because it's it's the L.A. market, and it's the Chargers who should be in San Diego. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's like that's the problem that you know the Rams have it too. They were gone for twenty plus years. Yeah, I know. And all these play, all these fans are like, uh, we already got our teams. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got a ton of Raiders fans, fans there. You got a ton of Cowboys fans there. You have a bunch. And unforgivable if you're a 49er fan, you live in Southern California. I'm sorry, it's just unforgivable. <laughs> the worst kind of human being on the planet. Just, no and then the, these people who put their niner jerseys on and go to the game on sunday then don the dodger hat and go to chavez ravine no you're out of the fan base i'm sorry you yeah, do I'm not sure. get to do that don't, don't show up in my la kings gear or <clears throat> lakers get the f out you're done, <laughs> done. Dude, thank you I over the, the dark side I cannot stand when if I'm ever if I ever I don't usually leave on Sundays. I'm usually always watching, but if I ever do leave on Sunday, it's only because the Patriots have a bye or they're playing at night or something. My point is if I'm ever out and about and like a Niner game's on or a Raider game's on and I see somebody at a Raider or a Niner jersey, I'm like, your team's playing right now. What are you doing? Why are you here? What the hell's going on? Yeah, okay. I'm judging. Very judgmental. There are uh, rules for these things. <laughs> seriously, I'm like you care about the rules die- anymore. <laughs> are you that die hard? It's like Raiders hat, Raiders jersey, Raiders shoes, Raiders bow tie. And I'm like, the game's on, dude. Pull the head out of your ass. You're like, Chase um, is going to roll around in his, his Texas Longhorn <laughs> football shirt. Well, his basketball season, I got my Oklahoma shirt on. No. Oh, God. He, absolutely not for both. Right. So you can't, <laughs> you get kicked out of both fan bases. Yeah. Uh, final thought here Chiefs haven't lost a uh, game in November or December since 2019. <laughs> Damn. About glorified scrimmage on Sunday. Really fucking hate that team. Who are they playing on Sunday? The Rams. Oh, oh are they? <laughs> By the way, I think it's I think it's Bills. Is it Bills Lions? Yes. Ooh. Lions In going for fourth straight. Lions Indeed. going for their fourth straight. They got well, it's it's uh, it's the Bills home game now. They just played there oh, last yeah, weekend. They did, yeah. Oh, is it, is it at Detroit? It is in Detroit, yeah. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. I didn't even know that. That's good shit. Uh, and those are the big three. I feel like I need to tighten this up, fellas. We're like 47 minutes into this. I gotta Whatever, let's, let's do some picks. Hell yeah, I'm talking about. I like talking about the Cowboys because I actually am a legit. Like I'm on that bandwagon now. I told Tommy Marquez today. I go, listen, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. You give me the gear if they play it. <laughs> go with you. I'll go hey, that's what I was cheering for the Rams yeah, last I'll year. I wear a big paper mache star. Like I'm your guy. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. Right, you want to beat up team. old Ford Ford truck with a oh, Cowboy sticker on the one. back and. Old English Dallas Cowboys lettering. Oh, <laughs> Tommy knows what I'm talking about. He'll get a neck tattoo and I'm in. Glorious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good stuff. I got to bounce uh, back this week. All right. Yeah, I uh, I put the hammer down on you guys. Yeah, you did, man. Big, Big time. Man, man. I mean, Damn. I should have taken Tennessee. I was sitting in my car going, that looks like a Tennessee game. Like, ah, the Packers are back on track. Dude, oh, man. Man. they looked. Packers, it's weird. That's a weird, that's a weird team right now. Weird, weird situation going on. Devontae Adams, man, makes a big difference when you don't have that. A damn Jets pick. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I know that's, that's screwed. Put it out of bounds. That was bad. That was, that was a uh, that was not a very entertaining game, except for the, literally <laughs> the last 10 seconds. <laughs> and how about the Zach Wilson being like, do you think you let your defense yeah, down? Yeah. The correct answer to that question is I absolutely did. I absolutely yeah, did. You just sit there and own I it. Just, no. Dude. Yeah. Freaking idiot for saying that. I was like, dude, come on. You allowed, <laughs> the defense allowed three points and you guys got freaking smoked. All right. Let me, uh, let me zoom. Let me go scroll up here. I found a nice little, nice little, uh, where it has a picks. Hang on. Let me zoom in. Oh, look so at this. See it too. Zoom in. You see the, uh, we're going to start right off with the, the Buffalo Bills, huh? Yeah. The Buffalo. Gosh dang it. Here we go. Hang on. Still roll this up. Bear this is going with. great. <laughs> well, I'm hitting the zoom, and it's like getting kind of see. It's like okay, there you go. That's what I was trying to do. So it's nice and leg- legible mm. for you. All right, just make us make us small, bro. We don't need to be a part of this show. The bills well, are nine and a half. Here's the thing: when I when I start to when I, when I edit this together, and then you guys are like, oh. I got, I got, yeah. So that's the way. I got. I know. 
Uh, okay, hang on. Let me, let me add this. Go this little shenanigans over here. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I should probably announce that our season totals. Uh, I'm in last place still, 84 and 64. Chase is second, 88 and 60. And Woodlands uh, on the lead, 93 and 55. Oh, it's 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 Chip coming down. Away. Mm-hmm. Had two bad weeks. Yeah, he has. I'm lagging here. Here we go. You have. All right. Let me, uh, this is riveting stuff. Got to delete this stuff. <laughs> 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 delete this stuff. And, and I'm ready. Okay. Uh, Bill's Lions. Well, does anybody have any faith in Motown? <laughs> I'm going buff- Buffalo on this one. <laughs> okay. Bills. I think it'll be, you know what? I do think it'll be an entertaining game, though. Yeah. I do too, actually. Am I the am I the dodo that's going to go with Motown? Even though I pretty much pretty confident the Bills are going to win this game, you got to start throwing some hail marys, man. That's true. Hey, good advice, Chase. I'm going to take Detroit. And they've good won three advice. in a row. They've won yeah. three in a row. Buffalo nothing has like, not been playing their best football. That's true. I mean, nothing like taking advice from the two guys I'm uh, battling against. <laughs> yeah, it's great, great call by me. Holy crap! Sticker in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> is this good is this good guys yeah. all right uh giants at cowboys mm. Jeez, cowboys. this is a nine and a half i feel like just because the giants lost all of a sudden they're like everybody's giving up on them i think in, the giants are another team that just they're just an ugly football team that can win ugly football games you know as long as like a, within a score i just don't think sunday is going to be that game i think i think <laughs> dallas has found their stride thursday oh it's a thursday yeah. game this is a Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving bro. Game, that's right. Yeah, Thanksgiving, yep. bro. I know. There's well, three. And, and Detroit is a Thanksgiving game, too, right? Because those are the two mm-hmm. teams that always play. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, guess what? Your, your guys' uh, Thanksgiving miracle is going to come true because guess who's playing at nighttime? You're welcome. Oh. You're, You're going to get Mac mm. Jones. You're going to get Kirk Cousins. Oh, damn it. Because now it's a, a night prime time, prime game. time game with Kirk Cousins. Oh, Kirk Cousins. Oh, Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is going to look like a freaking jackass playing quarterback. Go ahead and give me uh my beloved uh Patriots. You're taking the Pats. I'm taking the Vikings. They bounce back. Right. They were humiliated. Okay. That is not gonna happen again. Where's it at? Oh, oh it's at it's at Minnesota. It's Minnesota yeah. At Minnesota. Well, it. Or not. You're gonna get like a uh, fourth string type of uh Kirk Cousins zone. Oh, no. Don't think so. I have faith okay. in my boy Kevin O'Connell. All right. I'll go Vikings. All right, you bunch of bunch of jerks. All right. Uh, Bucks at Browns. Uh, oh, so yeah, so, so I'm thinking next week then is uh Deshaun what's Deshaun Watson time. So I think we still got Jacoby Brissett. Three and a half mm. point favorites are the Yuccaneers, huh? Mm-hmm. The Yuccaneers mm-hmm. on the road. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and take Cleveland Tampa. Played someone, did, Cleveland played the Bills, uh, Bills. Right? Yeah. Bills, mm-hmm. yeah. They looked good for like Almost a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill's Bill's got a touchdown with like 30 seconds left, I think, in the first half. And that kind of really mm. kind of. Yeah, I'll go really Bucks. Good. Okay. Yeah. I think I got to take the Bucks. I, I, right. I think Tom Brady probably renewed Beautiful, his deal. I know. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, I know. By the way, did you see uh, Giselle is vacationing with their. Um, jiu-jitsu coach or something Uh-oh. oh that's yep. awkward mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so now you're so gonna get i like... was able to take what tom threw at him and reverse it <laughs> hey actually you got the Bengals or the titans <laughs> okay he's getting advice huh he's oh got a freaking, he's got a bookie there with him i see how it's going son of a gun Bengals titans one and a half point spread for the no? Bengals. Bengals. all right uh, i'm going Bengals. all right and it's at tennessee tennessee oh do they have Tannehill uh, back yeah, right, right. Right. Yeah, last week, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, now. yeah. And I'm played well. I'm taking the the Tetons. Ooh, dang it! I like I like Cincy more, but I think I'm going to go Tennessee. So uh, we'll chase yeah, I'm going to go Titans too. Oh, you're going to switch a risky on me, huh? Ooh. All, right. All right. My wife's shaking doing? her head right now. Yeah. <laughs> are you going against, against the house? The the right there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What? Uh, what? Yep. <laughs> okay, so now I'm getting trouble. Okay, I'm going with the Bengals. Yep. <laughs> okay, switching it back over to the Bengals. Right. Now, I don't know who I want to win here. Well, so if is here's the thing: if the Titans win, I get the hold that's against her for at least like a day and a half. Look at you, smart move, sir. Smart move. But if the if or no, if the Bengals win, then you know yeah. I then stuck by my wife. There you go. Look at you. 
it's a win-win. It's a win-win. I will take the Dolphins in this situation. Yeah, Miami with a 13 and a half point spread. Holy Moses. Dang. I'm looking you forward to that match that they have with the 49ers coming up. Miami. I'll give you guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll go Dolphins. Guys, I'll give you guys $85 if you can name the backup quarterback for Houston. Oh, dang it. Oh, it's some oh, – I know this. Oh, it's – uh, is it Mullins? Oh, that's the starter. <laughs> oh. No, well, Mills – no, Mills was the starter. Oh, 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 that's right, that's right. I don't know. Who is it? I'm going to Google it real fast and tell you. Huh. Kyle Allen. Kyle oh. Allen. Oh. The Panthers oh, wow. guy. The Panthers, dude. Old Aggie. Old mm-hmm. Panthers face. All right, who's next? That made Kyler Murray quit the team and go play for Oklahoma. That's right. Oh, Bears and Jets. Bears, Jets. Yeah. Kind of a good game, dude. I kind of like this one, actually. I like I like watching Justin Fields. I kind of he's uh I'm gonna take the Bears. Ooh. I wonder who's gonna be QB in for the Jets. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Chi Town. Yeah. If they they if they quarterback, they go to Flacco, maybe, but mm-hmm. I, I think the Bears are they're starting to figure By the way, out. I think for some reason, I think Flacco's third on the depth chart. How is that a thing? That guy, she's the he's the one guy that you have that's got experience. <laughs> I, know. I know. And remember that? Remember they had that crazy comeback win? Yeah, against the Browns. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, Browns. Raven. Browns. Browns. It's right. the Browns. Browns. That's right. Uh, so only the Browns can outjet the Jets. <laughs> I'm gonna go Jets. Oh, look at you, buddy! You got mm. two lone wolves already. I think, yeah. Chase is oh, trying I do. To, I think the Bears. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. Who you pick? Bears, too. I got Bears. the Bears. We got the Bears. You don't like that pick? <laughs> All right. Get 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 Mrs. Ingram on here to do the picks, would you please? I uh, I took your pick. Falcons. You think come. the Titans are gonna win? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to have the Falcons and the Washington Commanders. I like uh, I like Commanders. Washington. I'm going, I'm going Commanders on this one. Ooh, yeah, I am too. Yeah, Commanders. Okay. Damn it, Com- dude! Commanders across the board, huh? Nobody believes in Mario. Their defense, though. man. It isn't. Um, oh yeah, Chase is coming. Chase. Chase uh, is coming back. Chase, Chase uh, Young's coming back. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Chase Young's Broncos coming back. And Panthers. Jeez. Yeah, Broncos. Panthers. Couple of ugly. And you got Broncos, Sam Chase. Darnold. You got Sam Let's Darnold. Try. That's I'm going. I think Russell Wilson and Broncos. Nation. By the way, you guys go. You, you know who you get to watch on Christmas Day? Oh God! The Denver no. Broncos and and the Rams. The Rams. Yes. <laughs> ah, super. <laughs> yeah, here's your lump of coal. Bloop. Yes. <laughs> NFL. Nice NFL work we do against here. Russell Wilson. Like, how did they look at that at the beginning of the season? It's like you know, this is the matchup everybody because wants to watch. Because there were two teams that they were supposed to be good this year. Oh, Baker, yeah. Baker, yeah. Russell Wilson. That's what I think. They can still Denver. change that though. They can push things. No, not I guess not Christmas Day. Never mind. Damn it. Son of a gun. Son I mean, I'll still gun. watch. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, of course. It's football. I'm gonna, I'll I'm still cheer, cheer against the Bronco, Broncos. Yeah. Uh I'm taking I'm taking mile high. Yeah, I'm going. Who, do you guys, who, do you, who do you guys got? Uh ooh. I got you say Denver. Denver, Sean. Mm-hmm. Yes. Denver too. All right, it's a Sam Darnold, Carolina. Come on, you guys. Yeah. No, no faith, no faith. That's my pitch. They got <laughs> Sam Darnold. Uh, Ravens, Jags. Ooh. You know what's weird? Here's a, here's a weird prediction. I can see the Ravens winning the Super Bowl. There's my there's my what? I can see the Ravens winning the Super okay. Bowl for some reason. All right. Yep. Well, I will, a little uh, drug. Yep. I will never admit this. <laughs> I will never. <laughs> I'll never bring this up if they don't, but if they do, oh. <laughs> Play it over and over in a loop. Uh, exactly. Uh, with that said, I'm going to take the Ravens. Hmm. Trevor yeah. Lawrence. Any Trevor Lawrence fans yeah. in the house? Mm. No. I, I mean, yeah. he's so pretty. I want to. I really want to go with Duval, but I can't. I got to go with the Ravens. <laughs> All right. Raven, Ravens across the board. Sweep. Yes. Ravens sweep. Chargers, Cardinals. Ooh. Mm. Chargers. Yep. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm going LA as well. Same. All right. Sweep. All this anti Kyler Murray, little shit face. Yeah, more I can't pro do it. Chargers. I think they're better than their okay. record. 
Yeah, I want to. I want a trash can, Kyler Murray. Ooh, an old AFC West matchup. How about this one, nice This was mm-hmm. the old the Bosworth game where Bo Jackson trucked. Oh yeah, yeah. yes, that's right, dude. Yeah, that's right. Those they're playing awful. On, they're playing on just like silver a real... uniforms. <laughs> I like the old Seahawks unis. <sighs> those classic ones with the big, like the big mesh jerseys. Yeah, those Argent ones. Yeah, those are great. Uh, hey, do you really think the Titans are going to win? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, uh, Raiders, Hawks. I'm going to Seattle. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're believing at in home Gino, huh? at the 12s there. Okay. All right. Okay. Two of the most oh, annoying yeah. football fans I ever encountered in my entire life was in the Salt Lake City airport. Two Seahawks fans were at a bar watching a game and they were all dressed in their Seahawks gear so, as a guy and a, I'm guessing his wife or girlfriend. And every time Seattle got a first down, oh god, they would go Seahawks, call, and they would high five. Oh my god! And I'm, like, I'm going to murder you two right now. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Yeah, they, and she would say kaka. They would like do this little deck, this dainty little high five, and I'm just like, I hate both of them. That's kaka. Um, uh, Rams. Chiefs. Good <laughs> Lord, it's a Chiefs. Chiefs. This will be a bloodbath. <laughs> well, good. well, at least it's at Kansas City. They should be in front of this game because it's not, <laughs> oh. and it's probably not even going to be Stafford. It's probably not. It's probably going to be Bryce Perkins, as it Who? should. Be. Exactly. Mm. Good point. Hey, uh, when's uh, when's Sean McVay's contract up? Uh, he's got a couple years left. They just signed him an extension. Oh, yeah, so then they re-sign him. Yeah, oh, his okay. like this is all tied to Aaron Donald. Once Aaron Donald's done, I think they're done. Yeah, they mm-hmm. that's well, that's when the rebuild really begins. Mm-hmm. Is uh, Aaron Donald regretting coming back? Yes. Who regrets coming back more, Tom Brady or Aaron Donald? I gotta say Aaron Donald. At least Brady's still the Brady's well, first in this division, right? Aaron now. Donald's still got his family. Yeah, <laughs> that's the correct answer. Too soon, mother effort. <laughs> like you had a chance. Yeah, Tom Brady <laughs> lost a ring. Too soon. Yeah, exactly. Aaron Donald still got his family. <laughs> fuck up, Sean. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I just hate Tom Brady. Kind of pain I mean, I have no, <laughs> I've never spoken to the man, but that's kind of fucked up, John. Yeah, that's kind of uh, Saints 49ers. Sorry, sorry, that was harsh. I 49ers. <laughs> no, I love yes, the, the San Francisco 49ers will mop the floor. Yeah, probably. Is it, uh, is it still Andy it's Dalton in, the way? in that hell hole known as Levi Stadium? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go and take, uh, and take the, the beautiful GBG led team. I think that's it. Oh, wait, no, one more. Packers at Schmeek. Oh, wait, there's two more. Damn. Yeah, I got to add some rows here to my spreadsheet. Mm. This like, looks like a trap game to me for the old Philadelphia Eagles. Mm-hmm. In Philly, though. Oh. Mm. I mean, are the, are, the, are the Packers just done? Are the Packers, if the Packers are just done, then the Packers are not going to win this game. I thought they I'll were done the four games ago, and then they played the Cowboys. Yeah, I'll take I the Eagles. No, I've lost yeah, but Dallas Cowboys. had the type of game that game that the that the Vikings had against the Cowboys. Like that, that's take that point. game and throw it out. It's just not. Yeah. A, I'll take yeah. Eagles. <sighs> I don't think that's an accurate representation of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, it's at Eagles. You guys are both taking the Eagles. There's no way backers should win this game, <laughs> but. I'm going to go ahead and take the Packers. They could. Yes. I know. I'm, I'm just taking the Packers. They do, you know, they might riot in Philly. It's just because, like, when they're – I feel like when Rodgers is being Aaron Rodgers, he's like, it doesn't matter who's who's around him. He's just going to shred you apart. Yeah. Steelers, Colts, Monday night. Ew, kind of a stinker. Kind of a stinker oh, game. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go Pittsburgh. I'm going pit. Give me the Colts. Okay. Jeff okay. Saturday on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> that that somebody, swayed me right there. When somebody's like, uh, when somebody said, "Hey, we should, uh, we should call that guy on Saturday." Like, try to get a new coach. You know, we need to call that guy on Saturday. They thought, like, "Oh, he called. He called Jeff Saturday." No, don't call Jeff. Call <laughs> call this guy on Saturday. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Chase, who do you got? It's all comes uh, down to this. Colts. Okay. Did, uh, did, it's Mrs. Magic. did Mrs. Ingram sign off on that? No, she's not paying okay. attention. No, <laughs> you lost her. I think that's the that last one. Yeah. I want to okay. reserve the right to change my Bengals Titans yes. pick later. All right. Okay. That's Back about us. Sunday, Sunday evening. <laughs> Sunday evening. At uh, halftime. Yeah, exactly. Gentlemen, it's a, it's a damn pleasure. Even though this one yeah, ran a little long. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah, right back yes, at you. Happy right Thanksgiving. You. Thankful that we get to do this on a weekly basis. This is true. This is true. I'm and I get to call you guys. two my friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gee, Whittle, gee, Whittle. At least we all have families. Suck it, Brady. With that said, out of here. We'll see, catch you guys next week. Thanks, guys.